Hi everybody, I'm Michael Leiden. Now Scott Anderson has asked me to tell you, how come if I was such a big deal rock and roll writer in the mid 60s, how come didn't, when I started to play music, did my music come out kind of well, easy going swing jazz? Well, simple answer. When I was in high school, I loved jazz. Errol Gunn, Duke Ellington, Count Basie, Thelonious Monk, Charlie Parker, Billie Holiday. I flipped for that stuff. And I started, I started playing clarinet so I could be as good as Benny Goodman. But the trouble was, after a while, practicing and practicing, I realized I'm never going to be good enough to be in Duke Ellington's orchestra. So what's the use? And I gave up music. Then I got drawn back into music writing about it. And right after going on this huge Rolling Stones tour, which was a real climax of my pop writing career, I met a wonderful woman, Ellen Mandel. And one night we were over at a friend's house and he had a guitar and he was playing like this. And I said to him, man, I would give anything to play that. And he said, Michael, you're going to be able to play that before you go home tonight. So he showed me how to make the E major chord. And then hit the E A major chord. Then hit all the strings with no fingers. That was like a free one. And then back to E. And do you know what? Before I went home that night, I could play at least a rudiment of it. And that got me started. I realized if I practice, I can do this. So I kept practicing, and Ellen and I started gigging, and the whole bit. But as my music developed, and how could I say why? But somehow my, what I wanted to do with music was more and more like what I had liked in high school. So I wasn't thinking of rock and roll in my generation. I was thinking... So, what can you do? That's what I fell in love with. And so, I think... Jazz scared me because I never thought I'd be good enough. But the Beatles, Stones, and Dylan and 60s rock told me, just get out there and bang in your axe and sing and shout and just get something out of your soul and you'll be okay. So that's what I've been doing now for some years. And uh, it's got the feel. It's, it's got the feel. God gave it, I guess. All right. Thanks, Scott. There's my answer.